What's up guys, Jacob Owens here, and today I wanted to just quickly talk about something that's just kind of new to me, and I found some really cool results with, and I know some other people have as well that are close to me, um, and that is intermittent fasting. So recently a friend of mine had a absolutely crazy transformation. His name is Kieran. I'll link him in the description below on his YouTube channel. So I've known Kieran for a little bit, and uh, his body transformation was is absolutely astounding. I don't know the weight from what he went to to what he went to, but here's a transformation picture and he just made an incredible transformation and I've always been dedicated to fitness and living a healthy lifestyle. So I reached out to him when I saw that picture and I was super proud of him and uh, he wanted to meet and talk about like his journey and how he achieved those results. He was super excited to tell me about it. So we met up and he proceeds to tell me about his transformation, how it happened, and how he did it. He was telling me about intermittent fasting, which is what I'm talking about in this video, and he kind of broke it down to me and basically was talking about how that's how he made his transformation. Sprinklers just went on, I need to step out over here. He was so excited about it, he wanted to share it with me um, and share the process of intermittent fasting with me and how I can implement it into my training, um, you know, regimen and lifestyle and, and how I live. Basically, long story short, intermittent fasting is um, where you fast. You, you Between the periods of around, it can be anywhere from 8 to 10 p.m. to late in the afternoon, you do not eat. You push your first meal of the, of the day until the afternoon, around 1 to 2. Um, and you don't have a meal past, I don't do a meal past 10 o'clock. Kieran doesn't do a meal past eight o'clock. I typically stay up a lot later because of what I do for work. So it's hard not to, to eat like, like it's hard to stop around 8 p.m. So I have my last meal around 10 p.m. or a snack, not even a meal, it's just a little snack. I was worried, I was worried with this fasting because I've always been like, I have to have a full belly to train. I need to, you know, be have lots of energy and food source in me to work out and have energy to train. And, and I was worried that basically, you know, not eating and, and fasting for these long periods of time would make me feel weak, would make me feel sluggish, I wouldn't be able to lift heavy. And he, Kieran told me that that wouldn't happen. And I'm surprised, like it really, that's not the case at all. I, I, there was times I actually felt stronger, um, I felt more alert, and it was just right from the get-go, um, I could see what he was talking about and how it works. Now, one of the reasons I started it is right now I'm currently injured. I have two pulled groins, so I cannot run, I cannot jump, I cannot do abs, I, I can't do cardio, I can't do any sort of fat burning exercises and high intensity workouts. And so as a result, I, I knew I needed to kind of do something to one, eat better but as well stay lean because I'm not in the condition right now to where I can go do abs, I can do fat burning exercise, I can do cardio and, and these different things to stay lean. I can't do that so um, this intermittent fasting was a way of being able to eat and train while I cannot do those things. and. Without doing any of those things, without working out my abs, without doing these fat burning exercises, high intensity workouts, cardio, I'm leaner and probably stronger than I've been in the last few years. Um, it's kind of crazy. Kieran's making this, you know, a big part of his lifestyle and his all natural athlete challenge. I recommend you guys check that out and look into that but I just felt the need to kind of come and talk about this intermittent fasting and talk about how it's obviously helped my friend Kieran, but how it's like working for me. And I did not think it was something that would work or really make sense, but it does. Um, I know it's a little hard at first if you're used to eating so heavily and readily to push that meal so late in the day. So one of the few tricks to, um, to help you do that is to uh, drink black coffee. I don't recommend it right when you wake up. Um, I that could actually probably make you hungry quicker. So try and when you wake up, 
keep busy, keep your mind busy and occupied with something so you're not really thinking about food. Um, then have coffee, go to the gym, work out, just push that meal late into the day and try this intermittent fasting. I, once again, I've come to really like it. Not to mention, I feel like it saves me money on food because now I'm not eating constantly throughout the day. It saves me a lot of time because I'm not worried about, oh, I have to eat, eat here. I have to prepare a meal here. I have to go eat here, spend, you know, it's just, you consume your daily calories and your food intake in between that, that like eight hour window between one and 2 p.m. to eight, 9 p.m. And so you, you, you pack in all your calories and your meals within that time frame. Now, mind you, again, I haven't done abs in a month and a half. I haven't run, I haven't done cardio, I haven't done anything in about a month and a half. So again, I am just felt the need to kind of talk about it and, and explain how I think it's working for me. Um, I've seen results from it and um, I've not even been doing it that long, so I just felt the need to talk about it and kind of say, I believe in it. I endorse it, I condone it, um, and that you should give it a shot if you're looking to stay really lean and lose a lot of weight. Like, subscribe, share the video. If you know someone who's doing intermittent fasting, it's working for them, comment below. Do all that good stuff. Um, if you guys give it a try, let me know how it works for you and pass this information along to someone else who you know, might be interested in, in taking this challenge and, and uh, you know, switching up their lifestyle a bit. All right, guys, peace.